But all of the things at the stationery store, I got this cute cat and cherry sticker. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at it. I got it because of the cat, really. These Sakura sticky notes. This washi tape. I got it on sale. This one is also a Sakura print. This is blue, and then this is. This kind of print, not sure what kind of flower this is, but it was just really cute. And I got, and that is all for my little haul. <laughs> I always end up buying these things but I never actually use them but since I have a journal now I decided to like decorate it because I don't I mean I don't really have any other book that I could use this in right now I threw out all my books <laughs> so gonna decorate a page Drove the gates, feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Yeah. Just move, but might move it all out again. This feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through. I blame the things I do. Only difference is I ain't in school. You heard that news? I flip birdies to these worms in suits. Hey, good morning. So, I have something to share. I realized that a lot of times I'm um, like, I don't really have that much to say. And I feel like it's because I stopped reading like I used to read so much and then I'd always have like new knowledge to share but then I stopped and then I'd really talk that much to people so I feel like that has a lot to do with it so I found a book this morning that I was reading emotional intelligence self-awareness just wanted to share some things that I learned this morning about the self-awareness so they're basically saying that you'd think that Think of like supreme rulers or any le um, leader like of any class, right? And you'd, like, what would separate the really good leaders from the the okay leaders? Like, what do you think? Would it be like power, fame, IQ? If you think IQ, then you're close, but not really. They're saying that emotional intelligence is what really separates a great leader from a good leader. 
and you know, saying they have four types or four categories under emotional intelligence. Um, I wrote them down in my, my journal. So self-awareness, knowing one's strengths, weaknesses, drives, values, and impacts on others. Um, the second one is self-regulation, which is how you control impulsive or impulsiveness and how you like redirect it and also how you control your moods you have motivation and i i wrote my own definition basically the urge to pursue achievement <laughs> in any way any form of achievement i think that's what i def define motivation as and you have empathy how you understand other people's emotions and you also have social skills so like one's report and how you get your conversations or your relationships to direct what you direct other people right so i like looking up these things and i like knowing about love languages attachment styles and now this self-awareness self-awareness has like four categories just like how you you know with your love languages you'd have like acts of service words of affirmation blah blah, blah, blah yeah etc etc and for Attachment styles, you have four different types of attachment styles. You have secure, you have anxious, preoccupied, dismissive. But you have other things under that as well. And how you would differentiate the two, love languages and attachment style. Well, love languages is how you perceive love, how you receive it, and how you want to show love. Right? And your attachment style is how you utilize love languages in a relationship or a bond that you have. And it really and it stems from like childhood in a way you know and the other like factors that might affect that you showing or you showing or the lack of showing your emotions to someone else like fear or anxiety I feel like I'm talking really fast but anyway so I'm um, they're saying that the four different types of um, self-awareness introspectors you have aware seekers and pleasers and i think i'm just gonna like show you on the screen well, as i was reading this i'm like well i see how everything is connected like i see how your attachment style is connected to your self-awareness because say for example you have a secure attachment style right you're able to properly and comfortably express your needs and your affection internalize it as well so you have that kind of attachment style then you're more likely to be under the aware category of self-awareness and they're saying there are two types of self-awareness I have first one is like internal self-awareness I'm just gonna read it um, it represents how clearly you see your own values your passions your aspirations your reactions your feelings your behaviors your strengths and your weaknesses and how they affect you and other people this external self-awareness is basically how you think others perceive you you know and they're saying well if you understand how other people view you in terms of the same factors that are listed you know your aspirations your goals your strengths your weaknesses etc etc then you're more skilled at showing empathy and like probably taking correction or take, taking into account other people's perspectives so i think that was really cool yes i found like this website that was like talking about it and it was basically saying that like what i was thinking was true <laughs> so yeah so like if you have a say if you have an anxious attachment style you're more likely to likely to fall under like the low internal self-awareness you're like, more likely to be like either people pleaser or or a seeker so yeah that was that was a lot of information but i absolutely love psychology and so i like self-help information so yeah probably if you're high in both the internal 
so for when it's an external and you think that well naturally if you're hiring one you must be hiring the other right but that's not really the case there's like no relationship between it because you can be high in one category but low in the other so that's why you have the four different archetypes like it's crazy how many people don't really know about these things like i try to take i like i try to ask most of my friends to like <laughs> to take the quiz like there's quizzes on these kinds of things and like get them to try to understand their love languages or their attachment styles i know that i'm learning about self-awareness and that there are different like subtypes i'm gonna tell my friends to take a quiz on that too like i feel like there's so much that we can learn about ourselves but like there's too many distractions in the world bro like there's just so many other things that can distract you from like what's that word that i'm looking for being more introspective and like trying to find out why you are the way that you are and like who you are in this world and i feel like especially now that well i'm in my 20s and a lot of other people that maybe watch my content might be in like their teens 20s 30s 40s i'm not really sure but people in their 20s nowadays are like so focused on like relationships and i'm not talking about relationships between like mother father you know it's more of like like boyfriend girlfriend that kind of relationship and like there's so much stress on trying to find somebody you know like you're trying there's this urge and this pressure to find somebody that's like the people that you see on like social media where they're like flying out the partner or they're doing like all those cute things and i feel like even though they're, they're talking about mental health a lot more nowadays it's some of it is toxic like i see so much toxic positivity and there is such a thing like like for example like i see a lot of toxic productivity like those videos that you always see like how to become a better this how to be productive and wake up at 5 a.m and it's like can't i catch a break can i can i not <laughs> today like there's so much rules and clear-cut things that you must do and if you don't do these things you'll never be successful and that's just you guys like the people that make that kind of content you guys don't even do half of the things on the list like i make videos they make videos too you know i'm pretty sure a lot of them don't follow like everything that they set out you know you just want it to look nice you know so i feel like a lot of it they're like it's just for the aesthetics and not really it's not really logical you get me anyway that's just my opinion let me know how you feel <laughs> As for me, I just really want to focus on gaining more knowledge on these types of things and possibly make it inter like intertwined with my career somehow. I really hope that I could do something like this. Another thought that's crossed my mind, there's a category on the, the self-awareness archetypes called introspectors and I think they have low... They have high internal self-awareness but low external that means like they basically they're very much self-aware of like their own values their own needs their aspirations goals whatever they want to pers um, pursue in life all those things but they don't really care much about the outside like they don't really care about how others perceive them or anything like that and i think that's good and bad bad in the sense that Say you're in the working world, right? And you're an introspector. You fall in that subtype or category, right? You're not really going... You're going to take every little comment as like a threat. You get me? You're not really going to take into... Uh, like sit back and say like, Oh, wow, okay, this person is pointing out this. It's not bad criticism it's constructive because okay how can i use this 
criticism to better myself like how can i be better at my job by using what bob said to me or what paula said to me you know <laughs> i feel like there should be a balance and i feel like people with more secure attachment styles are more likely to achieve that balance so you can always i feel like well your attachment style can change and if your attachment style can change then obviously your emotional intelligence can increase and can shift you from like having a low external or internal self-awareness to both high internal and external self-awareness yeah <laughs> these are the things that I like i like thinking about these are the things like i like talking about you know like when i see somebody i don't want to talk about like meaningless things i want to share knowledge so i'm gonna just leave this here as a thought that try to gain knowledge of things in life that you can apply to your own life besides like things that you see on social media that don't really matter you know i feel like when you're when you only get information from social media you talk about the same things all the time things that don't really matter but when you read books or you you take like you watch those videos on like like how your mind works and how you know um like how you can improve yourself you have other like you gain a more well-rounded understanding of not only yourself but the people that you interact with and the people that you should be interacting with and i feel like once you start thinking about things like that and really applying it to your life then it it will benefit you in different categories like mental physical your work life your social life you know so yeah that was just thought of the day <laughs>
and I also wanted to leave like a question that you can probably reflect on um, so like what are your passions like, what are you passionate about in this life that's my question to you and like probably write it down and just think about it after the video don't just like cut off the video and don't think about it yeah <laughs> all right that's basically all that i wanted to share for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video Bye.